Former NBA player and wellness advocate Jarnell Stokes is the owner of Stokes Superfoods. Stokes Superfoods brings the purest form and highest quality products to those who want to turn the tables and take responsibility for their health. Educate people on the power of returning to nature and the holistic inner self. Our products cannot heal any disease alone, but we're here to assist in the healing process for both the mind and body. Stoked Superfoods are highly recommended. For more information, please click on the link in my description box below. During these type of discussions, people are going to believe what they want. So in this video, I'm only going to talk facts and facts only. No speculation, no what ifs, no assuming. No, how could this happen or how could that happen? I'm only going to talk facts and facts cannot be denied. Are we from Africa? Yes, because we are indigenous to the planet. We're from America also. We're from everywhere. Even the first Europeans were us. The Grimaldi people. The Grimaldi people were the first Europeans around 12,000 years ago. There's Grimaldi skeletons in museums in Monaco near Monte Carlo. An overabundance of traces of their culture has been unearthed in Southern and Central Europe. You have some people who say, none of us are from Africa. Then you have a lot of people who say, all of us are from Africa. You know, many things in history are debatable. And sometimes in history, we can find stories from two different cultures. You take someone like Queen Nzinga, who I've made a video about. Queen Nzinga has a Portuguese story and an African story. So, when you take both of those, it's like somewhere down the middle, there has to be the truth somewhere. So yes, some things are debatable, but what cannot be debated are facts. And I'll point out some facts to you. So to say none of us come from Africa is 100% false. You can't deny the documentation. There's plenty of people who share their experiences. There's plenty of people who have extensive documentation. There's nowhere on earth where black people did not touch first. Now let's talk facts. We have people like Phyllis Wheatley, who was the first black person to get her book published in 1773. She wrote about her experiences. She talked about her experiences on slave ships. She spoke about how she is truly indeed from Africa. If she's not from Africa, why would she say that? Why wouldn't she just say she's from America? There's so many books from the 1700s and the 1800s of our people telling their story. Sometimes people will ask, well, where's the slave ships? How come there's no slave ships? My response is, have you researched them? Seriously, truly think about it. Have you researched them on your own and not just listen to somebody else? 
because there's plenty of artifacts there's so many slave ship artifacts all over this earth there's slave ship artifacts in the Smithsonian right here in America when's the last time you've been to a black history museum or a history museum period oftentimes when I go and I have videos up about it and pictures up about it when I go I'm the only black person there or it may be a couple of us because we got the Sao Jose we got the Jubilee slave ship we got the Clotilda we got the Henrietta Marie you can research this stuff yourself go look into it there's plenty of artifacts now think about this Marcus Garvey's Black Star Line ended in the 1920s where's the Garvey ships we don't know where the Garvey ships are so you're expected to see a ship from the 1700s to be in great condition when we don't even know where the Garvey ships are and Garvey had his ships in the 1920s that's a fact Garvey ships were in the 1920s if you don't question the Garvey ships why are you questioning ships from the 1700s and the 1800s what about the free African society from the 1700s and the free African Union society from the 1700s if they had no connection to Africa why would they choose such a name many of these people including the founder Richard Allen shared their experiences and they got history from their elders now, these brothers was born in the early 1700s their elders were from the 1600s if they had no connection to Africa why wouldn't they just say so a man named Martin Robinson Delaney has extensive research from the early 1800s if there was no connection to Africa why wouldn't you just say so there are Sankofa symbols on coffins from the 1700s that's an African symbol they found coffins from the 1700s with the Sankofa symbol on them the Sankofa is about giving back it means go back and get it but once you obtain a certain level of knowledge you have to give back once you pass on give back good vibrations to the ones who are still here as I've stated we covered every inch of this planet the first Asian people were us the first Asiatic man were us there's Asians right now today who look like us with Negroid features melanated skin they have our skin color and our hair texture these brothers can grow dreads but they have the Asian phenotype even their old ancient statues have our features that's a fact everything I'm saying in this video is all documented these are all facts none of this is speculation that's a fact so if we know this if we know we were the original Europeans we were the original Asians we were the original everything else you think we just skipped over Africa we have people like Timothy Fortune who spoke about his experiences this was the man who actually called us African Americans first a hundred years before Jesse Jackson 
He also founded the National Afro-American League in 1890. You can't deny the documentation. You can't. Everything stated was a fact. If you're confused, watch the video again, listen, and pay attention. Yes, we're from America also. We're indigenous to the planet. I would highly recommend the book by Chancellor Williams, The Destruction of the Black Civilization. I would highly recommend They Came Before Columbus by Ivan Van Sertima. Stolen Legacy by George M. James. And also go check out When We Rule by Robin Walker. Please follow the History With No Chaser Facebook and Instagram pages. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section.